Working in Silicon Valley has been the absolute biggest dream of mine for the last four to five years. And after years and years of persistence and motivation from my mentors, I was finally able to work as a software engineer in the Bay Area. I'm excited to make this video and I hope this video gives you a great glimpse of what it's like to work in California, the heart and soul of technology. I worked at a company called Carbon 3D, which essentially focused on the additive manufacturing process for their clients. And these clients ranged across all walks of life. You know, you think automotive, you think dental, you think consumer. And I was extremely glad that I was able to work on the software platform, which focused on the latticing process for 3D printing. I was very, very glad that I was able to see the full stack process for additive manufacturing because it's an industry that I have never really been exposed to before. A lot of my friends ask me what it's like and what the culture and work environment is like at a Silicon Valley based company. And I think the first thing that popped up to me when it came to carbon specifically was the academic brilliance of the of the people in the company. I was around obviously people who were at Stanford, at you know, MIT and Duke and all these like great schools that you that you see covered on TV all the time. But specifically, they were people who were very well versed on very theoretical and scientific concepts and they had very specific problem solving skills, which was very admirable. They're talking about very difficult computer science science-based spaces such as linear algebra, such as ge computational geometry, numerical methods and things like that. Like they had the terms in these theoretical spaces in their everyday language. And that was very inspiring to me because I didn't really, I didn't know what it was like to be around people who had very like a very specific set specific like knowledge space that they dealt with. In my previous opportunities, I generally worked on very general problems as a software engineer, but to be at a company which had a, a deep seated marriage with science specifically, I think that was such an in interesting experience. And I don't think I would have really experienced that if I didn't come to a company that was that had a similar makeup to carbon. The second thing I think I noticed was the passion that people had for their work. There is a big difference between people who choose a career and a job. Most people at carbon, pretty much everyone at, at carbon, I, I felt like they, they were really there to like further their career and they were really invested in their work and they worked extremely hard. They're glad to work that hard and they really embrace the, the challenge of working hard and pushing the company forward. And obviously like these people were like, everyone I met was very approachable and people who um, were very, very happy to talk about the work they did. So I was able to kind of set up time with them and understand how different parts of the company worked, which is very interesting. Now I would like to cover three very light moments from my internship term. I think it was very great to meet uh, the entire internship class. I think some of us got along really, really well. The first time we actually met was at a baseball game at Oracle Park. You know, the company's name was kind of displayed on the board and I was able to kind of talk to a lot of people in the company. The second thing that I remember off the top of my head was a 3D printing event um, where I printed LeBron James' head. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's, it's very like, it's very detailed and very great. I think I should paint it at some point. Uh, going to a bowling event, that was, that was pretty fun. We were, I think that's once again, it's such a great way to kind of socialize and meet people. It was, it was fun. There was food and, um, yeah, I think, I think just, uh, being around people and just like having so many talks, with the, so many talks with interns from all over the world, essentially, and, uh, being able to like have free Friday lunch and things like that. Those were experiences that I always, always enjoy. And I was actually able to even go, go out and kind of have road trips with some of them, which, which I'll talk about, but, um, uh, those are those are a group of people that I'll never forget and I, I always always wish them well. These were my top three personal moments. And the first thing that comes to my mind was going up to Golden the Golden Gate Bridge with my mentor Imran Jamil. I think A just like going across the bridge, it was such <laughs> it's such an incredible moment because he played this song that I still have on repeat and it's on my top Spotify top 100. Uh, I'll probably put it uh, put a link to it here. But he played that song as we crossed the building, uh, as we crossed the bridge rather. And I was I was using every inch of my body not to like, not to cry. Or maybe I was just like speechless. I, I can't even remember my emotions at the point, but it, I just got so emotional and just like, uh, just like teary, I guess. Like it was, it was crazy to me that like, you know, I've seen this bridge across like so many videos and so many pictures and like, I finally get to have my moment. And we essentially circled around 
uh, the Golden Gate Bridge and got to a viewpoint where I could see the entire bridge. That has to be such a great defining moment of my life. I don't remember too many moments of my life where I felt like I made it. You know, I I like I made it here. Like I achieved my dreams. I didn't even know what to say to Imran at that point. I was very much speechless because. we spoke about this moment so many times and achieving this moment so many times and like it's finally here and i don't even know what to say uh i took a few pictures and i was just like really just sitting down and enjoying the moment and i think that has to be such a great moment in my life to like finally make it to silicon valley through all the challenges that i had in my personal life um it was great it was great and i wouldn't trade that moment for too many things in my life california is an extremely beautiful place it's truly a magical place i haven't seen anything like it and my favorite road trip was to go to big sur because i was spending it with three of my very good friends i was essentially pampered by so many people who could drive so i was able to like uh i'm very grateful for it obviously and i was i was able to kind of experience california in in such a great way i'll probably make a montage towards the end of this video being around california and seeing california and how beautiful this place is It's just it's just not something I take for granted and I always once again always always remember it. If you know me personally, you know how how deeply I love food. That's why these cheeks have gotten a little chubby from the start of university. And obviously, when you go to California, which is known as kind of like a mecca for food, I did not hesitate spending my salary to like experience the food scene in California and I don't regret it one bit. I gained uh, around like 10 pounds, 15 pounds ish when I was in California, but I I'd go back and do the to the exact same thing. I think we we stayed in line for about an hour just to like have a little bit of ramen and that's the best ramen I've had in my life. I would even recommend people just visiting there just to taste the food there. It's just incredible. I haven't had it I will just haven't really experienced anything like that. It's been a minute since I've made a video on this channel, but I hope this was a great glimpse of what my summer was like. I hope to make much more videos about like my journey and how I got from Sri Lanka all the way to Silicon Valley and maybe even more about the strategic element of how to land these internships and land these opportunities. That's my goal for this year essentially. Very excited to see where this channel will go from this point on also. If you enjoy this video and if you enjoy content related to what I what I kind of create, please hit the subscribe button because I'm a small channel trying to grow. I really hope this inspires someone with a similar upbringing to shoot for these opportunities and work hard for these opportunities. Thank you and I hope you have a great day.